Okay boys, I thought I'd make a quick video on the Burning Crusade PvP changes that came out on May 4th, so let's get into the video. What's the short version of the changes? Well, TBC Arena is basically Retail Arena. Thank you so much for watching, that is going to be a quick recap. However, that is not a very good video. Well, what's the longer version? Well, gear is now based off of your rating, similar to Shadowlands, but without the arbitrary item level upgrade system. There's just one arena set to worry about, boys, so not as bad as the 20 plus item level difference you could have in Shadowlands. In addition, missing gear like the shoulders, which is only one piece of gear compared to a full set of upgraded gear like Shadowlands, will not be as big of a difference. That's the gear portion, so what about the rating? Taking a look at the information given on Wowhead, the MMR is based off of the 2008 rating, so while I'm unsure what the percentile of players will be at per rating, I'm assuming that the 2200 requirement for the shoulders will be nearing Gladiator level. If Shadowlands is any idea, 2200 will be below the 0.5 percentile of the people who participate in Arena, at least in mid-season when I last checked, so people with the shoulders might very well be Gladiator rank. And two, specifically in Shadowlands, this rating will probably be really hard to obtain. At 2150, before the rating change, I was at about 0.03 percentile, which is nuts for how low that rating is compared to the super high rated pro players who were nearing 2700 at the time. And so the gear and the shoulders might actually be incredibly hard to obtain for the majority of the player base. Lastly, let's talk about boosting. Because PvP gear is nowhere near as good as the PvP gear from Shadowlands in terms of PvE performance, what does that mean for arena boosting overall? Well, boosting won't be as bad as you would think. Take that into account that you don't gain any arena points unless your personal rating is within 150 points of the team you're playing with, and there's a 10 game and 30% team game participation requirement, boosting will be harder. Also, the seasonal rewards like titles and mounts will require you to be on a team within 100 rating of yourself and participate for 20% of the overall games that the team has played. So with all this information, hopefully the boosting in TBC Arena won't be nearly as bad as in Shadowlands. But the one thing I am worried about with the current system is how arena points are gated by your team participation and arena items are gated by your personal rating. Depending on how personal rating is calculated, it may be possible for a high rated team to boost a boosties uh, personal rating using their high rated team. As in, say your team is 2500 rating, you take in a boostie, and you win enough games to the point where his personal rating is now 2200, allowing him then to purchase arena gear. Now the only problem with that is now, you know, because of the earlier requirements to earn arena points, he may not have the arena points to actually buy the gear, but the way around it is to just join a random threes team, low rated, farm arena points with that low rated team fairly easily, and because your personal rating in twos is so high, you can use those arena points to then buy the, that high level gear, even though you earn those arena points uh, from low rated arenas. So hopefully that gets cleared up and Blizzard will allow the boosting potential there to go away and they'll fix that to where arena points earned in low rated arena can't be used to buy the 2200 2s gear. I don't know how they'd fix that but hopefully they're able to stop that type of boosting potential. And the last thing I wanted to cover boys is that the tornadoes are here to stay for season 1. And while I am kind of a fan because it's kind of funny to see people get thrashed around in the Newground Arena from the tornadoes, I know that there's a lot of people who are kind of annoyed by this being allowed. However, the TBC community has wanted no changes and in Season 1, tornadoes were a thing so hopefully they suck it up. They, the hashtag no changes people are going to have to endure the fact that tornadoes are going to be in the game in Season 1 and they're not going to change it at least from what we know in this post all right boys thank you so much for watching that is going to be a quick recap on the tbc arena update and how rating ranking gear is all going to be distributed so hopefully that cleared up a lot of the confusion right now and hopefully you learned a little bit by watching this video but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more